For close to six hours, detectives camped along Koinangi Street in Nairobi. Following the robbery incident at Habib Zurich Bank, where a known value of money was stolen, clans were not allowed into the bank, but referred to Westlands and industrial area branches. Some employees who arrived for work were interrogated by the detectives, as the premises remained a crime scene for the better part of the day. The robbers entered the bank through the rear door and made their way into the second floor of the building and disabled the alarm and the CCTV surveillance cameras before getting into the banking area. While inside, they used gas and welding machine to break into the safes and made away with a known amount of money before attempting to break into the strong room. The strong room, according to one of the officers, contained 41 million shillings, which was still intact by the time detectives opened it. Nairobi County Commander Joseph Oletito said the robbers used papers to block the bank's tinted glass windows so that security guards could not see what was happening. It is as if they had a humble type. And there are people who really knew what they were doing because uh, the light inside could not be seen uh, outside by the officers who were guarding the, the, the premises because they had to make sure that whichever glass that is transparent has been, has been, has been blocked, has been put and opaque. It's believed that the thieves fled after running out of the gas. The incident was reported at 8 a.m. in the morning after the thieves left behind the gas cylinder and metal rods at the scene. Police say this was a calculated robbery and no stone will be left unturned in the multi-agency investigation. Somebody who really know, knew what he was doing. There is an alarm, but it has also been tempered. So you can see there is somebody really who knew what. It must be an inside, access, an inside job. Nairobi County Director of Criminal Investigation, Irere Kamwende, Central DCIO, Samuel Kobinas, Central OCPD Robinson Thuku and Central OCS Alphonse Gundo were among senior police officers who visited the robbery scene. No one has been arrested in the Brazen theft, which lasted hours. Steve Juma, NTV.